The ability of individuals to demand for and access health services, the consistent provision of quality health care, and the existence of robust health governance structures are all factors that come together in a complex interplay to determine the health of the population. Many parts of Sub-Saharan Africa face inadequacies in one or more of these domains and as a result continue to experience poor health outcomes despite increases to health spending. The strongest part of the system, which is the primary healthcare system, is more or less in a failed state. There has been very inadequate funding and uh, there has been very much inadequate uh, human resources for health. Changing this trajectory requires both the acquisition of the skills and tools required to navigate these challenges and a disruptive shift in the mindset of those at the helm of healthcare stewardship. The Healthcare Leadership Academy, HLA, is an educational platform established to provide context-specific leadership and management training to healthcare professionals operating in Africa. Right, we've seen this before, right? Okay. I'm just reminding you because th this is the practical now. We've learned all the theory before. You have to remember too, when you're executing, to bring some of that theoretical foundation right, to your thinking. By strengthening the ability of these individuals to excel in governance and the provision of services, the HLA aims to create quality champions who catalyze transformative and impactful health system-wide changes. This idea has been long in coming and it arose from the fact that most healthcare professionals find themselves thrust into leadership positions um, as a result of maybe their qualifications or their tenure. And so this program is to equip both policymakers and service delivery providers with the skills, the mindset, and the tools they need to be effective leaders. The Leadership Enhancement and Accountability for the Public Sector Program, LEAPS, is a bespoke fellowship program specifically designed to develop the leadership effectiveness and execution capacity of senior healthcare administrators and policymakers working within the health governance institutions of a particular state or region. It's still inside you, you haven't gone anywhere. And you can use it in your practice. Nigeria exports medical personnel. So, how come our own facilities here are not up to scratch? Somehow the system is not working. So this is an intervention in the system, all the different players in the healthcare system, getting them together to learn the high level management and the executive leadership skills they need, know each other, learn to work together as a team in a state to really deliver change, positive change, at the local level in every and any state in Nigeria. The most important thing is, as leaders, to take ownership of what you're trying to accomplish. A one-month period of engagement with the HLA prior to the commencement of the program ensures that the curriculum is relevant to the needs of each particular LEAPS cohort. In 2016, seven Nigerian states were invited to participate in the program. Each state was represented by a team of five senior administrators from the state ministries of health, state primary health care development agencies, and the state ministries of budget and planning. We've taken seven different states from different parts of our geopolitics in Nigeria and we've turned them into one cohort and one supportive network of people. And in doing so, we're building a cohort of future leaders in healthcare in Nigeria. Over a one-week period, participants received training in four key areas of a balanced scorecard, leadership, quality, management, including financial management, and health system strengthening, with the expectation that the knowledge gained will be immediately utilized by the state teams in their pursuit to reach an identified state primary health care goal. So how have we gone about it? We really very much focus on adult learning approaches. 
We can't use the approaches where we all sat in a classroom years ago as children with back blackboards. Rather, we teach them a little bit, ask them how it might apply in their own systems, and then spend a lot of time on active group discussion. There are certain values and principles that should govern what you do. The outcome is that we work on the power of 10. If each of those people that I coach can go and coach 10 others, instead of me dealing with five people, I've suddenly dealt with 50 people. And that's to grow and build healthcare in Nigeria that is truly, truly representative of what we owe the people of Nigeria. Through an 18-month period of mentoring and coaching, participants will continue to cultivate friendships and develop as health leaders who can ultimately create a lasting and positive impact on their health systems. So coming together to listen to lectures, if we go back, we now work as a team, both the health people and the finance people, to see how we can now achieve the objectives. For me, it's a good one, particularly as in Nigeria, we actually know what to do. I mean, funny enough, there are many policies, but it's the how that's the problem. How do we get this policy into action? So I, I just know or pray that this kind of relationship where we're being taught on leadership, you're giving leadership skills, management skills, and how to bring all of this to bear, we will be able to move from just knowing what to do to actually doing what we need to do. I really want to thank LIPS, I mean the organizers, and say keep the good work because it is what we are looking for.